Hi everyone, welcome to Concrete Crafts. Today we're going to be making the turtle sock puppet out of a sock and a two liter soda bottle. This is video one of three where we're going to detail the materials required for our turtle sock puppet. This pattern comes from the fantastic book Puppet Mania by John Kennedy. You can see the turtle fellow right here in the middle of everybody. We've modified it a little bit for our purposes, but generally it's the same as what you're going to find in that book, along with a bunch of other fabulous puppets. Okay, so let's take a look. Here's some of the materials that we're going to need. The very first thing is a sock. To make a sock puppet, we need a sock. This one has a little bit of a different um, pattern on the toe, which is the one that we used for this. So you can see what actually happens to the head. You end up with a bit of a black face and a gray body. This puppet, it's a little hard to see on the video, but has black belly and dark gray. It's a two-tone sock, so it ends up with a belly and a head, slightly different colors to each other. You wanna make sure that your sock has the elastic end, the ribbing on it. We're gonna cut that off and that's how we get the cute little legs on the side. So don't use an ankle sock. Make sure you've got one that's got a bit of length on it that we can cut to make legs. We're also gonna need a soda bottle. So you're gonna to wanna to take the label off of that. They all have a little bit of a different shape. It doesn't matter which one. We just wanna make sure we have the two liter soda bottle, a nice big one, and that's what's gonna become uh, the framework for our shell there underneath the materials. So on the shells we're going to need uh, something to make the shell out of and something to make the belly out of. On the shell portion, this one's made out of felt pieces, all of it. Um, the main thing and all the decoration is out of felt that's been glued on with a glue gun, whereas this one is made out of tissue paper and then has sticky, foamy sticky stickers stuck on to do all of the decorations for us. The belly on this one is brown paper made from just a brown paper shopping bag that we cut out the piece that we needed. This one is a brown felt belly on the underside. You could make those out of all sorts of things. We made this one almost exclusively out of felt, whereas this one is almost all paper with the stickies. The stickies don't work well on the felt. They don't stick as well. So you wanna have the glue when you're using the felt. But you could also use construction paper or colored newspaper. You could use an old phone book. You could make the whole thing out of this brown paper and then decorate it with pencil crayons or markers. Whatever it is you can find to use in your house is what we're going to make our shells and our bodies out of. As well as the shells and the bodies, we need mouth material. This, these guys both have the insides of their mouths are made out of red felt and inside the sock is a piece of cardboard. You don't need to use red felt. You could use a red piece of construction paper or you, again, you could color the cardboard in red. Felt is the easiest thing to use. So that's what I'm going to use again today. And the inside I used an old piece of old dinner and then just traced out the shape that I needed. To trace out the shapes I needed, I have these two lemon tracer shapes. One is a little bit smaller than the other. They're about that big on my hand for the big one. The big one is for cardboard and the small one is for the felt. So the cardboard that goes inside the mouth is slightly bigger and the red felt that goes on the outside is slightly smaller. As well, you're going to need some stuffing that goes up in the head, batting, is what we like to call that. It gives a little bit of a shape to the head. They get that rounded, there we go. They get that rounded, smooth head to them. I'm going to use some batting that came out of an old pillow that my dog chewed up. So now I have the stuffing from the inside. You could use an old stuffed animal. You could use an extra sock for this. You could use um, a piece of fabric balled up inside. Um, stuffing does work best, but whatever you can find to just make a little bit of shape up inside the head. Here's a, this one's a bit different. It's, it's like balls of bits, whereas this one is more like a sheet of stuff. Then we're also going to need something for the eyes. We did both of these eyes in different ways. This one is the tops of the two liter soda bottles with a blue sticky, foamy sticky, and then a black foamy sticky in the eye. This one, the white is an old button and the black is from a bracelet, beads from a bracelet that had fallen off. I'm going to experiment on the next one that we're going to make. 
uh, with a round bead with a little hole in the middle and a yellow pom-pom and I have two different sized pom-poms to see how the bead was a bit small for an eye to see how they work and you're gonna just have to pay attention to video number two to find out how the eyes work. My supplies for the one we're gonna make in video two is I'm going to use this light orange for the belly of the shell. It's the same shape as the brown one I used and you might notice there's a seam up the middle. They weren't wide enough, so I'm gonna cut two pieces and glue them beside each other so I have a square big enough for that. I'm going to make the shell, I found a large piece of felt in my house. So we're going to make the main shell, what's the dark green on this one out of the yellow felt. And then I have some orange and some pink felt that I'm going to cut shapes out of to do the decoration. If you want to use paper for yours, I prepared this one as well and made sure that all of them had a folded in edge that I would glue this edge down so I have a nice edge there because I'm going to see all these edges when I make the shell. I want to make sure it's all nicely folded down, which is what we did with this blue one before we glued it together. Made sure that both of these edges had a fold, nice folded edge on them. And on this one, I glued the two brown pieces together, but I also needed to glue pieces together to make the shell work in the back because the sizes that I have are only these five inch squares. So I actually glued two and two and made a four square so that it was big enough to fit. And you can't even see the seams. They disappeared once I decorated on the pieces. And so it doesn't matter if your pieces are too small. You can just glue them together to get something that's big enough. Some supplies I have as well. I have some scissors with me so that I can cut the felt. I'm using my glue gun to do the gluing. If you're using paper, you could use white glue, but then you have to hold the paper so that it stays together and hold it longer until the glue has set. Whereas I can work much faster with this, but it's also much harder, hotter. If you have small hands, I'm using a hot gun and a utility knife. I'm going to need the knife to cut the bottle later. If your hands are too small to use this on your own, please make sure you have big hands that are helping you do these jobs. I also have a permanent marker so that I can mark lines on the bottle so I know where to cut it when we get to the shell part. And I'm going to be using the marker as well to mark my felt so that I can cut out the shapes that I need. So those are our materials and supplies. Go find what you have in your house, felt, cardboard, construction paper, cloth. Oh, cloth, you can also use cloth to make your shell. So whatever it is that you have that you wanna make the shell out of, find a sock, find some things to make the eyes, a little bit of stuffing to go in the top, something to make your little red mouth out of. Come on back, gather up the tools that you need. Video number two, we're gonna make the sock body. Video number three, we're gonna make the shell. By the end, we'll have a sock turtle puppet that you can make a show with. See you soon.